Okay, some practice problems. We're told to solve the system of equations by graphing, and then if appropriate, check our answers. So number one here, y is equal to negative two-thirds x plus two. This is in slope-intercept form, has a slope of two-thirds and a y-intercept of two. So let's plot the y-intercept, and then from there, a slope of two-thirds means we go up two over three, puts this here, and we can graph in the line and it will also go to this point here that's two and three in the other direction okay and then the other line y equals negative one-third x plus five so it has a y-intercept of five and a slope of negative one-third so we go down one over three and it looks like looks like we've found our point of intersection right there Let's go ahead and draw in the line. And then the solution appears to be this point. This is x equals 3, y equals 4. So 3 comma 4. And we want to check that. So in this first equation, we're just going to put in 3 for x and 4 for y. So rewrite that with those values plugged in. And we get uh, 4 is equal to two-thirds times three plus two and the question is is that true and you can see the threes cancel and we're left with four equals two plus two and that's correct and then the other one y equals negative one-third x plus five put in three for x and four for y and so that gives me four equals negative one-third times three plus five and does that work Again, you can see the threes cancel out, and we're left with four is negative one plus five, and that's correct also. So this is the solution, three comma four, that point right there is the solution to this system. Okay, number two, y equals negative two-thirds x minus four. Okay, this uh, has a y-intercept of minus four down here, and a slope of negative two-thirds. So that means I go down two over three. That's going to put me about right here, which is um, off of our graph. But I can continue this same trend by going up two and left three. And that gets me to this point right here. So I can still graph the line. Let's um, sketch that in. I'm gonna try that again, hold on. Not real happy with that graph. Okay. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, and the next line is negative two x plus y equals four. And we can do this a couple of different ways. I'm gonna do the algebra here to convert this to slope intercept form and that turns out it's really easy just add 2x to each side and then you get y equals you can see right there 2x plus 4 so let's graph that y is 2x plus 4 that has a y-intercept of 4 right up there and then a slope of 2 which is going to put it to, to right there go up 2 over 1 or from this point right here we can go down to and over one so you can see which points it's going to go through and look that's going to be our solution right there the point where the lines intersect okay so so this is our answer it looks like it's negative three negative two and let's check that in each of the equations Okay, so in the first one, put in negative 3 for x and negative 2 for y, and see if we get an equation that is true. So negative 2 is negative 2 thirds times negative 3 minus 4. And look at this. This 3 cancels this 3 right here, okay? But it doesn't cancel that negative sign. We have a negative 2 and a negative sign, which makes that a positive 2 minus 4, which is negative two. So that, that works out mathematically. And then the other equation, do the same thing, put in negative two for x and negative three for y. 
and so I'm sorry negative 3 goes in for X and negative 2 for Y so negative 2 equals 2 times negative 3 plus 4 and is that true well this is negative 2 is equal to negative 6 plus 4 and that is true so that's the solution negative 3 comma negative 2 and number 3 y equals negative 1 half x plus 3 so let's graph that as a y-intercept of 3 right there and then a slope of negative 1 half so we go down 1 over 2 and you can get some points on the line and draw in the graph okay and then the next one negative 2y minus x equals 4 okay let's do the algebra and put this into into slope intercept form okay if I uh, let's see I'm going to start by multiplying both sides by negative 1 and that will give me a positive 2y plus x equals negative 4 and then subtract x from each side and that will give me 2y equals negative x minus 4 and then divide both sides by 2 and that gives me y equals negative one half x uh, minus two okay so this is that equation just rearranged algebraically and now it's in slope intercept form so let's graph it, it has a y intercept of negative two and then a slope of negative one half so that means down one over two yeah look at that same slope right there and right there so these lines end up being parallel whoops and you can you can see that if you graph it so they're parallel lines so there's no solution and you should indicate that on your page you should write no solution for your answer and there is no solution because the lines are parallel.